The winter of 1916 was the coldest anyone could remember. Heinrich tucked his gloved hands under his arms, trying to fend off the biting chill. Born to a shoemaker in a small village in Bavaria, war had been a distant rumor, a specter that haunted the adults' conversations but meant little to a boy used to the rhythm of leather and nails. Now, it was his reality. Assigned to the Western Front, Heinrich's days were filled with mud, rats, and the constant thrum of artillery. He wasn't cut out for this life. His hands were meant to craft finely stitched boots, not to fumble with the mechanisms of a rifle. It was one particularly brutal night, huddled in the makeshift trenches, that Heinrich made his decision. It wasn't a sudden impulse, but rather a slow erosion of resolve, grain by grain, until there was nothing left but the need to survive. The plan was simple. Slip away under the cover of darkness, find a way through the mazes of barbed wire and cratered earth, and make for the nearest forest. From there, he would rely on his instincts and any benevolent stranger willing to help. Desertion meant death if caught, but so did staying. The first step was the hardest. Every crunch of snow underfoot sounded like the roar of artillery to his ears, but the patrols were either lax or too engaged in their games of chance to notice. Heinrich felt his heart hammering, thudding in a painful rhythm that threatened to betray him at any moment. He had chosen a direction he believed led west, away from the front lines. The moon was a slivered crescent, providing little illumination, but just enough to cast ghostly shadows that played tricks on his mind. Hours seemed to melt into one another, his body on autopilot while his mind darted to the worst possible scenarios. Then, he reached the forest, a tangled mess of skeletal trees and underbrush. It provided a semblance of cover, but also new perils. Wild animals, hostile locals, and the sheer expanse of wilderness stood between him and freedom. He stumbled upon a family of four huddled around a modest fire one evening. Their clothes were tattered, mismatched, and their faces bore the hallmarks of war. Winter's cruelty and the hollowed eyes of those who had seen too much. The father, a man named Johann, eyed Heinrich suspiciously, but offered him a place by the fire nonetheless. Trust was a valuable commodity, but so was warmth. 